Hello folks, Andy Klein here again with another invention, but first a thank you for all the enthusiasm for the previous concepts I've shared. I'm moving forward with the blade and the clamps, and this new stuff is not going to get in the way it's happening in parallel. Uh, but today's invention improves on a twin screw vise. So a twin screw vise is coupled with a chain, and because of this, you can place a workpiece between the two screws, tighten it with one hand, and be sure that it's not going to rack. Uh, and by rack, I mean the vise jaw meets the workpiece at an angle so that very little of the jaw surface actually meets the workpiece. But the problem with twin screw vices is that they have a nut for each screw, so the quick release design is difficult, and currently all twin screw vices on the market take a long time to move in and out. There is no quick release design that's commercially available. So I've been thinking quite a lot about how to make a vise that is non-racking and can be actuated by one hand, uh, but also doesn't travel slowly. Uh, Charlie Kosorek helped me out on this again, and I think we really nailed it. So check out Charlie's video uh, right here for, uh, for his take on this. This new concept is built around a fast travel screw. So screws on standard vices move a quarter inch per revolution, but this fast travel screw moves one inch per revolution, so it's four times as fast. Uh, now the trade-off is that it takes four times as much torque to create equivalent clamping pressure, but as you'll see, because of the mechanics of this design, that's not an issue. So here's the vise in action. The front jaw moves in and out quickly with the turn of one hand wheel. To clamp a workpiece, the fast travel hand wheel is tightened with just light pressure, and the cam at the other end is flipped for very strong holding power. So I'm shaking the whole bench here, and the vise jaws aren't even lined with leather, and they would grip a lot better if they were. Um, so here is a larger workpiece being clamped to demonstrate why this works. Uh, at this precise point, after the hand wheel is lightly tightened, the front jaws actually do rack, and the holding strength of the vise is only strong enough to keep the workpiece from falling. But when the cam is flipped, the rack is taken out with the fast travel screw remaining in place, and a large amount of clamping pressure is created because the cam has so much mechanical advantage. So with the bench mock-up flipped over, here's what the vise hardware looks like. The back of the fast travel screw is fitted with a sleeve that is pulled forward or backward when the screw is turned through a nut mounted on the back jaw. The sleeve is welded to a metal plate, which is in turn welded to a smooth rod, and the cam is connected to the end of the smooth rod. So from here you can see that when the cam is flipped to take the rack out of the jaw, the rack is actually being transferred to that traveling back plate uh, where it isn't a problem. You'll also notice that the tracks and support for this vise are a bit of a shop project at this moment. Uh, but here is what a more polished design might look like uh, with a bench top, rear jaw, and front jaw not pictured just so you can see the whole thing. The nut and smooth rod sleeve are now connected so that the installation is easier and both are mounted to the bench top and not the back jaw, which ensures a precise mounting distance from the bench top, uh, and that allows for a simple tracking runner setup like you see here. The bottom side of the plate would have pins to maintain alignment and avoid over torquing the nut when the cam is tightened. Uh, material for these to be determined, brass maybe for low friction, we'll see. So once again, everyone, please share this video if you like the concept. That really helps me make progress. And thanks so much for all the help so far. Bye, everyone.